Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I was wanting to get my sons today. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's what's known as the Baptist. <laughs> They're a worldwide Protestant denomination whose members are divided into a number of groups. <laughs> They have no distinct creed, no single founder, no common organization. <laughs> now, Baptists hold the Bible to be the final authority in all religious questions. Ah. Yeah, you know, um, you issued a protection order yes, uh, based on a personal meeting that I had with Greg Miller, the Swim Baptist Church. Yes. But I never got a copy of that letter, and I didn't get any due process when you did that. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I would think that any time you modify a protection order, yes, based upon the written, uh, did, did Greg Miller write a letter? Yes, I haven't read it. Now, uh, you violated my right to due process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought for sure that when you put that condition of the protection order in the protection order, yes, that I could not go within 300 feet of the Boys and Girls Club, yes, in the Squim Baptist Church, oh, uh-huh, uh, that I, as the respondent, had the right to respond to any modification of a protection order, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm wanting my sons today, and I'm wanting all the Baptists, mm -hmm of all the Baptist denominations, yes, the various organizations and all the members of the Baptist denomination. <laughs> Could you get me the Baptist today, the individual locations of each and every church? See, when you issue a protection order, yes, mm -hmm. when I'm not a resident of the state of Washington, yes, then you allege that I violated it. When I didn't, I was calling Healthy Families Clown County to find out if they had the conditions of my probation. Yeah. And the recommendation of reconciliation. Ouch. And then you issue a dissolution of marriage and have me arrested four days later. Oh. Uh -huh. And then while going through the dissolution of marriage, after my wife filed for a default dissolution of marriage. Yes. You allowed for uh, the church that my sons were going to. Yes. To motion the court on behalf of the Squim Baptist Church. Yeah. Now, as a father... When you have court hearings and I don't get any notice or opportunity to be heard, yes, I was not given the availability of explaining to Court Commissioner Brent Baston, yes, that when I went to the Squim Baptist Church wanting prayer about the dissolution of marriage, yes, I actually did not want to dissolve the marriage at that time. No, no, no. Mm. I thought that it was God's will that when you get married, you stay married, yes, and for any reason other than unfaithfulness, meaning my wife performed oral sex on another man, yes, or had sexual intercourse with somebody other than myself during that marriage, yes, that we should stay married and we should have reconciled and we should have forgave each other for any wrongdoing. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of wanting to sue today. Mm-hmm. I'm really wanting to use the courts. Mm -hmm. And it could be that Brent being that good Mormon president, I mentioned that little $80 billion lawsuit. Yes. Why don't you get me all those Mormons that are licensed oh, in securities? Yes. And all the individuals that have the availability of as a registered investment advisor, uh, Steve Holloway. Ah, give me the RIAs, the IARDs. Yeah. All of the series and all of those that said, oh, my gosh, the Chinese floated their currency. What are we going to do? Oh, 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 oh. Because you know what I'm wanting to do today? Yes. I'm wanting to sue that court for having court hearings where I was not given any of the actual evidence that was allowed in the court without me having any notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> Now, it could be that the Baptists have a large amount of liability today. Yes. It could be that I'd sue for their individual churches. Yes. <laughs> it could be that I would get very upset today.